halftime. The aliens are here, but they're giving us a break so I can make a dramatic rallying speech. It's halftime in America, too. We've been shot at, spit on, humiliated, and mutilated. Now we're ready to turn around and say, please stop. It hurts, and I'm getting a rash. Because this isn't a game. It's war. Chrysler Motors knows a little something about war. They went to war against cliched car commercials, with long, empty roads and sexy cars driving faster than I've ever driven in my life. Have you ever heard of traffic? Traffic so slow it makes your eyes churn and your stomach bleed. Chrysler said enough. Here's a knowledgeable elder celebrity instead, and inspiring images of America and Americans as they do stuff. Big stuff. American stuff. And it mostly worked. The message was vague, but the emotions were genuine. Bonafide Americans cried and held their jeeps close and looked up to heaven. Let's be the grizzled old men we were born to be. Let's move to Detroit and get this country jacked up like a good old Ram truck. All that matters now is getting back to that message, channeling that American pride, that exaggerated passion towards the exposed groin of the alien forces. We'll use our Chrysler cars in a frequently seen but not obvious way. We'll gather grand moments and real people from around this great nation, and together we'll destroy those little cosmic ho-hos. This country can't be knocked out with one punch. We piss our pants and the smell confuses the aliens and we use that confusion to light them on fire. Yeah, it's halftime America, and our second half will be filled with just as much inspiring imagery and inexact with humanistic messages as this classic Chrysler ad. Because it was a hit, and it was original, and it was the inspiration for this. What are your general thoughts on the ad? It gave me the tinglys. I think it was a good reminder of our country and what we should be proud of. And I don't usually expect like an ad to make me really feel something. And I felt something with this ad. I think they did a good job of relating people to the city of Detroit. So they saw themselves in the city of Detroit. They want themselves to succeed. Therefore, they want Detroit to succeed. I forgot at one point that it was a Chrysler ad. When I think of this ad, I think of Clint Eastwood and Detroit. That's about it. Overall, I'm pretty fond of the ad. It has exquisite cinematography, a well-written script, and most importantly, an authentic feel. Sure, the logic is a little shaky, but it's an ad, not a PSA. I still give it eight bugaboos out of 10. What are the other scores? That's it for this episode of the Controversial Commercial Review Bugaboo. Have a good day.